So it looks like you've got traditional mortise and tenon joints here. Yes, we do. We uh, Everything on this wall is actually traditional joinery. Well, to put it together, tenons here, peg holes have been drilled in the mortise, but not in the tenons, so that the idea is when we pre-assemble it, we mark those holes, and then when we take it out, we draw bore, we drill on an angle, so it pulls it together when we assemble. We're about to ready to assemble this, so hope we'll get together well. Go this way with the post. Oh. Oh, too much. There you go. All right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. It goes together beautifully. Nice fit. Okay. Next, we're gonna strap it. We're gonna strap it. Make sure it stays where we need it. Make sure the strap is not in the way of the pegs. Good. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna go hit with a three-quarter inch bit in reverse, so it just marks where that peg hole is centered, and then when we take it apart, then we can actually draw bow it. Now we're ready to take it apart. So we're kind of an angle like this, halfway. Yep. And then as we're halfway, we straighten back out. Now we're gonna go on this one, same thing. We start on an angle. Yep. And when we're about halfway through the tenon, straighten over. out. Nice. So cleaning out the bottom where it blew out a little bit. And uh, it's good, it's all clean. Labeled everything so it goes back in the same spot. Now you cannot switch anything around anymore. Uh, it's ready to be shipped and assembled on site. All right, what do you get left to do? We have a few of those ends left to cut. So he's using a portable bandsaw. Yes, it's a portable bandsaw, so you can do some end profiles, and basically it has a table like a circular saw would have, and you just work the tool around the beam rather than the beam around the tool. I know they're always tricky. I use those a couple of times, and they can be tricky to use. Oh, that saw does a nice job. Yes, it does. All we have left now is sanding this off a few ribs, and then we have three more to cut. Then we have another wall to pre-assemble. It's ready to be shipped on site and be finished. Hey, hey how, are you doing? how are you? Tommy? Good. Yeah, oh, that is, is looking great, huh? Pretty nice. And now we come on site. We actually assemble it all and drive all the pegs in, and that locks it all together. Look how beefy this thing is. Yeah. So I was asking him how he was gonna hold this thing up and to the ground, and he was showing me this bracket here that's really cool. So yeah, you can see here, first we put a threaded rod that's epoxied in the concrete below the brick, and then we have this part that's screwed onto it, and finally we have this expansion bolt where you just, uh, when you screw it together, there's two wedges, opposite wedges, pushing it apart, and it uh, uh, keeps everything down into place. Cool. I love yeah, it. And I that's do. all it takes. That's all it takes. But now we get to lift it up. <laughs> all right. Keep going up. Yep. You're good. All right. Coming, coming down together, guys. All right. Coming down. All right. Good. We're down. Great job, guys. Thank you. Thanks for the help. All right, Tom, I'm gonna leave you to it. I'm gonna check in with Roger, see what else we got going on in the backyard. All right, sounds good. Thank you, Bruno. Thank you. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project. So be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.